In the present video, we're going to show you some examples using the plot XY plugin of two dimensional graphics. For that, we start with this um, SMAN Studio file. You got to make sure you have under your tools options, sorry, tools, plugins, the um, XY plot region, which also will provide you with this insert plot, XY plot. As I was saying, in the insert menu, you should have on the plot, XY plot. So you click somewhere in the graph, do insert plot, XY plot, and down here we're going to type the name of the function f of x. The, by default, you get a a uh, range of x between minus 5 and 5, and then in the vertical between minus 1 and 1. But this can be modified, and to modify it, you have to do a double click on the graph, and you get this window formatting xy plot. There are several properties that you can modify in here. We could start with the grid. The grid, uh, when it says it's grid true for x, it's grid 2 for y, means that the grid does tiny lines are showing. If I change, for example, the is grid to false, then the vertical grid is gone. If I change for this one to false, then the horizontal grid is gone. Let's put them back on. And by default, they have this light gray color. You can change that to any color in this palette. Let's say you get the, like this olive, olive drab. Okay, that would change both colors. And the line thickness refers to how thick the line is going to show. If you put a thickness of 3, for example, you get this very thick, uh, and this thick grid. So let's go back to grid here and change that back to 1. Close grid. And then we go for labels. Labels refers to what is the X label and what is the Y label. Let's say that the X label in this graphic actually represents time in seconds. We can write like that, put a space in there. And the Y represents a position in meters. And so that changes our labels in the graph. I'm going to close that down. You can change the colors and the size of the, of the uh, lettering. Legend refers to when you have more than one plot. We're going to get back to that in another uh, situation. Um, Let's go for um, style. This refers to the graphic in general. The back color is white, and the border color is black. Suppose that we want to change the border color to um, brown. You can see how the border color has changed to brown. And we could change the white background to, um, I don't know, um, white smoke. Some of the things you can do with the style. The title is just the title for the graph. We could Call, uh, call it, I don't know, uh, position versus time, for example. You can change the font color and the font size. We have, add, we have added that um, title in there. X-axis refers to the range of values in X. For example, the minimum here is minus 5 to 5. Let's change it to minus 10 to 10 with one decimal place shown in the labels and the thick, which is the, uh, the, the value that's shown in the scale separated by five units. Okay, so now we have that from minus 10 to 10 with five. In the vertical uh, range, we could change it by clicking, let's close the x-axis, just open the y-axis, and let's go for our minimum from minus 2 to 3, let's say, uh, in increments of 1, with one decimal place for the labels. So that's what we're getting. Um, another thing we can do is change the, what is called the traces. The traces, uh, we go click on the list. And there's only one trace, trace zero, 
which has a line style of color blue with a solid pattern. We can change the color. Let's say change the color to, um, yeah, I don't know, it's like um, orange. As you can see, it changed the color. The pattern is solid. You can change it to, for example, dash or dash dot. The thickness could go could be like three, for example. And visible is true. Now we can add symbols to that uh, if we change this type known to, say, box. And then it shows boxes. And let's say that the fill, fill color is going to be something like um, light gray. And the border color is going to be Indian red. And so we get that. Um, now we are going to go, we're going to close this one and go back to points. The points indicate how many points have were generated in the production of this graph. If we have 100 points, it, it looks like a very continuous graph. If we change this to, say, 50 points, then we get a more spread out line. We also get the extension of the X and Y cases, I mean, the, the, the ranges for this particular case. And so those are the things that you can do to manipulate a graph in uh, in the XY plot. Uh, you can also change the size of the graph if you click in here and drag this down. You can change the size of your plot. Now let's say you we want to plot two, you're going to graphic two um, curves. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to select this and do Control C to copy all what we have in there. It's going to put it in here. The function f of x is the same. If I if I wanted to modify it a little bit, I keep going to put like a um, three times, uh, I'm sorry, three times the sign of x, and that's going to change my graphic, of course. Um, and I may have to do double click on it and change my y-axis from minus, let's say, from minus five to five. That gives me my graph. Now, I'm going to add the second function. To do that, you select the f of x in here, then go into the system of values or equations in the functions menu, and type g of x. And then the second line is giving you by default this thin uh, red light. You can go ahead and uh, modify that. I'm going to do a couple of modifications here. I'm going to double click on it in the x-axis and going to change my thick from 5 to 2. So we get a more populated grid. And then in traces, and going to uh, say my line style, I'm sorry, this is referring to trace 0, which is the first one. Trace 1 is the second one, and in that case, the line style we're going to do is in red color, which we can change to, let's like, say, coral or orange red. Uh, it's a solid pattern, and I'm going to change it to dash dot dot. And I'm going to put the thickness at 2, and I'm going to add a symbol style, which is going to be a type circle with a um, uh, a can um, border and a uh, red color. There's something else I want to do here. I want to give names to each one of those graphics. So for trait zero name, I'm going to call that um, sign sum. Okay, and then go for trace one, and I'm going to call that name cosine sum, just some name. And the reason for that is to produce a legend. This is something that we haven't done before, but legend, mm -hmm. you, you change legend visible to true. And then it by default goes into north northeast corner. Suppose I want to put it down in the southeast corner. I go here and select southeast, and then you get your legend based on the names that you provided for the for the two graphics. 
this is a, these are some examples of graphics of functions. I'm going to do some others in the following video.